When I look at this building from the outside, I think it's the most stunning, elegant, innovative building in central London. An opportunity to make a building like this uh, doesn't come very often. I think what really grabs me is the outside of it. You know, the structure, you can't see it all anymore um, when you're outside the building, but actually we're what helped create what is, I think, a really beautiful and sleek design. I think the thing that's, that's really important about the building is how it works in the location, and it's, it's a very special location. We really are we're on the almost the edge of the first Roman settlement in London as it moved and really that's trapped by, I mean we now see the road, the Walbrook, uh, but then it was a, a river really running down to the Thames and it sort of marked the end of the settlement. So it's always been a, a very important place in the city, it's steeped in history. Steel was really the only viable solution on this project. Had we looked at a concrete solution, for example, you would have had a lot more columns on the floor plate. As it was, we only have 10 columns on this floor plate, and that really is quite a unique aspect of the design. Um, I think the other uh, good reason for using steel was that it helped with the efficiency and reduced the um, size of foundations that were required for the structure. When you walk inside these large open trading floors, I think it must be absolutely fantastic to work in this environment. It's a real credit to the developer and the engineers and architects who have produced a stunning building with all of the BRIAM ratings and environmental accreditations. It was an extremely challenging project in that the uh, the site involves uh, very restricted access, so we were forced to unload all of our lorries in Walbrook, which was used as a pit lane, and we then transported the steel work, offloaded from the lorries straight onto the steel frame for the cranes to erect. We've got really long span beams in this building, um, and one of the challenges that provided with the small floor uh, space that we had available was the vibration issues. Uh, buildings this size with these kind of spans can get pretty bouncy, um, and so we did some really complex finite element analysis and came up with a solution that was both neat and cost efficient but technically effective, um, so that was quite a, a good win on the project. This building couldn't have been built in any material other than steel. It is from, from its initial composition and idea to execution, it was a steel building. It also allowed us to carve easy voids that we could shape and scale within the building, uh, make simple voids and control for our lift cores working through, and again, and keep them very, very transparent. You know, so that openness was crucial for us inside the building, the lightness of the structure, the demands for the spans and the form. It had to be a steel building and I think we've really explored the possibilities and advantages of that structure. Mm -hmm.